Hello everyone, my name is Jatin Nagi and today we are going to discuss about wheat processing. Please watch this video till end and if you like it then please share and like this video and subscribe our channel for latest updates. We will be discussing all the steps involved in wheat processing in this video. So let's get started. Firstly we are going to discuss what is wheat. Wheat is a grass which is mainly cultivated for its seeds. So this is how it looks like. You can refer to this image. So now we are going to discuss types of processing of wheat. First is primary processing. It involves several different processes designed to clean, sort and remove the inedible fractions from grains. Primary processing includes cleaning, grading, hulling, milling, pounding, grinding, tempering, parboiling, soaking, drying, sieving etc. Then secondary processing of cereals or adding value to cereals is the utilization of the primary products to make more interesting products. Secondary processing of cereals includes the following processes, fermentation, baking, puffing, flaking, frying and extrusion. So let's move further to post harvest cereal system. The main processes which we are going to discuss in our further slides. First is cleaning, then grading, then hulling, then pounding, milling, then parboiling, then drying, then storing. So let's get started. This is first step that is harvesting. Harvesting often begins before the grain is ripe and continues until mold and insect damage are prevalent. Cereals are traditionally harvested manually. There are the three main types of harvesting equipment for the small scale producer that is manual, animal powered and engine powered. So you can refer to these images. This is how harvesting this is manually and this is engine powered. Then threshing. Threshing is the removal of grains from the rest of the plants. It involves three different operations separating the grains from the panicle, then sorting the grain from the straw, then winnowing the shaft from the grain. So this is how threshing looks like. You can refer to this image. So let's move further to winnowing. Winnowing is a separation of the grains from the chaff or straw. It is traditionally carried out by lifting and tossing the threshed materials so that the lighter chaff and straw get blown to one side while the heavier seeds fall down vertically. So this is how winnowing looks like. You can refer to this image for further clarification. After that we have drying. Prior to storage or further processing, cereal grains needed to be dried. The most cost effective method is to spread out in the sun to dry. In the humid climates, it may be necessary to use an artificial dryer. So this is how drying process looks like. So let's move further to processing of finally storage you can say. So dried grains are stored in bulk until required for processing. The grains should be inspected regularly for signs of spoilage and the moisture content tested. So this is how storage looks like. You can refer to this image for further clarification. Now we are moving further to a last slide that is reference. I have collected all the information from this website. You can refer to this website for further clarification. So this is all about our today's video. I hope you have learned something from this video. Please like and share this video and subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.